Introduction to MongoDB Hello, in the first few videos we'll discuss the basics of MongoDB and introduce important concepts. We'll start with a discussion on what MongoDB is and how it fits in with the node landscape. Next, we'll see how you can install MongoDB on your machine. After that, we'll take a look into a few of the terminal commands to start MongoDB and access database collections. There's a few key points to remember when dealing with MongoDB. Number one, instead of using tables as you would in SQL, we use documents. And these documents are structured in BSON, which is almost identical to the commonly used web language JSON. Number two, it is a NoSQL or non-relational database. The main difference when compared to a SQL database is you're not able to use joins to connect your database tables. Instead, however, we can use references to link between our various documents. What are the advantages of using a non-relational database like MongoDB over a traditionally structured database? Some of the key advantages are, it's quick and easy to make iterations on your schema. When compared to relational databases, NoSQL is more scalable and provides better performance. And this is according to MongoDB.com. It's object oriented. So the administration of adding, reading, and writing looks very similar to JavaScript code. Agile development is the ability to quickly iterate. Per the MongoDB website, the NoSQL database accommodates large volumes of rapidly changing structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. And that basically means that you're able to add to your schema as needs change. An example of this is if you've already created a schema named user with a first and last name and later you realize that you also want to add a phone number. Now you can simply update your schema to include this new key value. For more information on the differences between SQL and NoSQL databases, you can visit the link below.